Hi guys, gonna make a quick video, nothing too flashy, um, but I will take you along with me because I've got a bit of time free today and I wanna try and get through a job that maybe we've been putting off for quite a while. So I'll be back at the uh, camp base, what me and Junior have been building up, and we're gonna try and make a small dent, if we can, with the uh, time that we've got available to fill up the log shed, or at least get halfway, if we can. Before I do that though, I wanna stop off um, at a birch tree that I've seen and I know that's really geeky but yeah I've seen a birch tree and it's peeling really well so I need some tinder we're gonna go to the birch tree first peel some of that bark off get it boxed up and then head off to the woods to start trying to get some uh, try and get some of this firewood for the shed there we go lots of nice tinder that should last me quite a while now so off to the woods we go Okay, so now I've got the tinder, uh, my preferred method of fire lighting, which is birch bark. Got quite um, a substantial amount of that. Do you want to know something really weird? Is that I share DNA with everything that I see, everything I touch. My DNA, the little molecules, the little amino acids that make up my body, are also found in a potato, a banana, trees, grass, bugs and life that lives at the bottom of the ocean. Which means in some strange way, everything and anything on this planet is related. That's crazy. Abductees, people who have been abducted by aliens, UFOs. In the majority of the cases, they all, or not all, but the majority of people say that at some point during their, their experience, they come across what looked like humanoids. Not fully human, but not quite alien. So they may have alien characteristics but with a head shoulders two arms and two legs and it makes me think because if we are related Dean like genetically to everything on earth you would assume that life starting out elsewhere on another planet would have a completely different DNA code different DNA sequence than ours and therefore would look completely different we look completely different to an octopus or a squid but yet we are still somehow um, genetically similar so I just don't understand how these people are seeing human looking entities if they've started out life on a different planet unless the genetical code is the same everywhere throughout the universe which would be really weird okay first things first I'm gonna just drop my bags chill out for like a minute two and then I'm gonna start getting on with cutting some of this wood because on my way in it looked like it could rain and I don't wanna be cutting wood for the log shed. If it's all gonna be soaked, it's kinda of pointless, but I do need to start making a move. I'm gonna keep taking breaks in between though and chat to you guys because I'm feeling like I'm in one of the moods today where everything is a question for me and um, I just feel like I'm, I don't know. I have days like this where a lot of things run through my mind and one thing can trigger a question for five other things and yeah so I will I'll stop and chat to you guys and then hopefully we can start a little conversation below in the comments box about some of the things that I touch upon some people get this weird feeling that they're being watched when they're in the woods or they're in the forest I'm quite the opposite <laughs> I get this feeling that, not that I'm being watched, that I'm gonna turn around and someone's gonna be like charging at me or darting right, right up against me. That's weird, isn't it? Why do I think like that? I just feel like if I turn around, someone's gonna be like literally running across the floor at me really fast. Why? I have no idea. Something I get asked quite a lot by people that maybe know me in my personal life and have only just stumbled across the fact that I do a channel discussing thought provoking topic is you don't really believe in all that though do you? Like all the stuff you talk about you don't really like believe in that do you? How can I pick and choose? How can my brain or my mind allow me to go to a certain extent in terms of what I believe but then won't let me go any further because in my mind once you've opened yourself up to the possibility of Bigfoot, extraterrestrials and ghosts there should be no limit because if they're possible then surely all bets are off and anything else is possible 
but it's weird because the brain doesn't work like that and my brain especially doesn't work like that you'll find yourself that you, re you, you either believe in Bigfoot but you don't believe in extraterrestrials or you believe in Bigfoot and extraterrestrials but you don't believe in flat earth and so on and so on and so on I tell you one thing once you start working you start sweating really really quick so although you might start off really cold as soon as you start chopping wood or cutting wood it's time to start taking a few layers off by the end of this I'm going to be completely naked sawing in the buff One of the things that I love about you guys is that you've picked up on the fact that me and Junior have good chemistry. Me and Junior have been friends since we were like really, really small kids. Some of the best memories of my childhood have been with uh, Junior and another good friend of mine who lives out in Australia called Frank. It's very rare in this day and age that you see a group of lads who still stay in contact all these years later. It's brilliant to have him along and basically have him interested in wild camping and bushcraft now because I never thought out of all my friends that he would be the one that, t that took to it and not only has he took to it he absolutely loves it like he'll come out on his own now and stuff and he'll camp out on his own and uh, he'll message me and let me know how it's been and he also introduced he also really enjoys doing the videos as well which is a bonus so I've had a good clean up around the uh, campsite today and um, whoever's been coming to visit has left left it in a bit of a shittle to be fair so I've just been around collecting all the rubbish up just started a little bit of a fire to get rid of some of that rubbish. Anything that I can't burn, um, I'll just have to take home with me and bin it. Yeah, it's been quite a productive day. Got a lot of wood chopped inside the log shed. I've built halfway across the roof. Still need sorting out and the rest of it finishing, but it's getting there now. And all around the perimeter as well, there was just like a load of loose, scraggly ends that had been chopped off and just the place was a mess. So. I've pushed them up against the camp walls and uh, outside the camp looks pretty neat as well so it's been quite a constructive day well ladies and gents uh, my work for the day is done here I had one of them constructive days today where you start one job you finish it and then you look at something else and like right let's crack on let's get that done and then you do that and that leads to another job which leads to another job and I'm absolutely knackered now Things are starting to change. This fern, as well as many others, are all turning orange now. They're all dying off. Slowly but surely, winter is on its way, so in a few more months, maybe a month or two more, all this greenery will be in the same boat. So this video is coming to an end now, sadly, but it's been nice just to briefly get out and chat to you guys, do a bit of work at the base camp. It's been nice to use this time just to get out and do a few things that have been letting go by. So Really pleased that you guys are all enjoying the channel still and it means a lot that you all take the time to watch to the end and comment as well. When I started this channel off, I never expected it to be what it is now. It was just basically a way for me to document my little outings and trips and things that I'm learning along the way with bushcraft so yeah thank you so much and as I always say guys take it easy look after yourself and uh, help somebody else out if you can along the way until next time peace